Welcome to this tutorial on Mixvibes Cross 2. In this tutorial, we will focus on the sampler feature of Cross 2. To display the sampler view, go to the Preferences and select Sampler. The 4-channel mixer will appear, as well as 8 sample pads on each side. A channel C corresponds to the pads on the left, and D corresponds to the pads on the right. The crossfader can be bypassed or reassigned in this view by simply checking or unchecking the corresponding channels. Samples are triggered by tapping on the sample pad. In this case, we are simply going to be clicking on them. When you hover the mouse over the volume icon on the pad, a volume fader will appear at the bottom of the pad. You'll be able to individually adjust the volumes of the samples with this fader. Samples are loaded from either the preset sample bank view available in the tree view or can be imported from a drive like any regular media. At the bottom middle of each pad is the play mode toggler. The three available play modes are loop by default, one shot, or hold. The loop mode plays the sample in a loop until it's clicked on again. The one-shot mode plays the whole sample all the way through. And the hold mode plays the sample as long as the sample is clicked on or tapped on. When a sample is played in the loop mode, it is possible to adjust the repetition frequency. It's called rolling frequency. On the lower right corner of each pad, you can adjust this length of the rolling frequency according to the loop length. When triggered, the sample will repeat itself according to the selected length. The sample is played back from the start when it reaches the end of its rolling frequency. If the rolling frequency is changed while the sample is playing, this action is quantized and hence will not affect the rhythmic flow of the mix. Cross offers the possibility to simply create samples from a track that is loaded on a player, in just one click. The length of the hot sample is simply defined by the length of the current auto. Cross has integrated a link feature. In order to secure rhythmic synchronization between sampler and player, player A, sampler C, player B, sampler D, the two link icons are located on either side of the mixer. They allow you to have matching BPMs between players and samplers. This means that when you change the pitch of either of the players or samplers, they will stay synchronized. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For more information, go to www.mixvibes.com.